Alrighty, it is two o'clock in the morning. It is Thursday, uh, February sixteenth, uh, two thousand and twelve, and it's time for comments X. Well, I went. If you've been following me on Twitter, just sort of watching my tweets and sort of looking at my Facebook feed, uh, I went shopping, food shopping yesterday. Uh, I went to do. Uh, th this happens every once in a while where I need to check out other supermarkets uh, because supermarkets do change and uh, there is a necessity to check out other supermarkets to see if something is better. So I went to check out a new supermarket yesterday. Uh, uh, it was, it's a, it took me to get there, it took three hours to go and come back uh, and, and including doing the food chopping. But in terms of the actual distance, it was significantly further than um, uh, anywhere else I've been. So when I got back, I was uh, significantly tired. I was going to do the Nerds RL thing the way Cassandra does and sort of vlog along the way. Uh, and then as I was leaving, I had second thoughts and I said, better not, because uh, this is the first time doing the walk, hiking that far, and if something happens, uh, uh, I'm going to need all my energy to get back. And it turns out, it's not, that, that, that something ha what usually happens is you get to a point, you're too tired to continue uh, in terms of how your legs feel, how, how your body feels, but you're out and you're not back at your place yet and you've got no option but to push f uh, through the pain and your exhaustion to get yourself back to your place and that sort of happened yesterday uh, it was on um, coming back I was most of the way back I would assume uh, and this sort of feeling of fatigue just sort of you know hit my entire body and from there on out, it was uh, a challenge to push myself forward so that I can get back to my place. And if I had been carrying the camera or trying to vlog at the same time, the... <sighs> The question is whether or not you would have used up too much energy, you know, that little bit of, you know, normally that little bit wouldn't amount, but in a situation where you're fatigued and you're sort of, your legs are starting to give out on you, uh, then uh, it's not a good idea to uh, sort of push even with that little extra amount of effort. So uh, I ended up leaving the camera at home and uh, not uh, vlogging uh, and it, as I went on that walk. Uh, turns out there wasn't that much there at the new supermarket, so uh, I've crossed more or less crossed that little supermarket off my list, and uh, I have two more supermarkets to check out. Uh, but I'm keeping the, my my standard. These are the I go to an Asian supermarket, a food supermarket, and I really like it, and I still do like it. It's got a lot of good things there. Uh, but it's been taken over by a major f uh, food chain, uh, food uh, 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 a grocery chain, uh, North American, and they're starting to change the ethnic uh, balance of it. It's starting to become more westernized, more uh, North American, rather than staying Asian. And I prefer the Asian to the North American local brands. Uh, I do an enormous amount of cooking. Uh, I don't buy that much that's frozen. Nothing comes for me. Nothing comes frozen out of a can or out of a bag or uh, you know or anything of that sort. I, everything I buy is fresh. It's 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 you know you want uh, a, 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 you know something like a, uh, the Greeks have baklava. They have these uh, these uh, cheese pies known as tiropitas. Uh, you want any of that type of stuff? I make it, including the filo dough. I don't. I don't even buy my filo dough. I make my filo dough. So there's no need for me to have 
a frozen food session. What I need is I need the fresh food to be uh, reasonably placed, reasonably placed, and uh, you know of a, of, of a sufficient quality. But what happens is that when you get into a North American style store, the amount, um, the amount of fresh produce decreases while the frozen food section, the prepared food section, increases. And because the uh, prepared foods often cost a lot more, they offset the prices by increasing the, the, your, your, your fresh produce prices. So, uh, and they also, uh, and what I've noticed is that they've started reducing the quality of the quality of the uh, of the fresh produce that they had there at my supermarket uh, started to degrade. So I noticed that there were two, just a little bit of ways, not too much further away, that uh, two more uh, Asian uh, supermarkets. These are independently owned supermarkets that opened up. And now uh, I'm going to, uh, sometime next week, uh, go and check those out and see if uh, I'll be buying my produce, my fresh produce from there. So I, I really, uh, so I said, I'm still trying to sort of resolve my food shopping issues uh, in terms of the where I'm going to go shopping f on, on a regular basis for uh my baking and uh, cooking needs, uh, but I haven't so I finished that out yet. That's, that's I still, I think I I'll have to do two more two more uh, two more uh, scouting missions, if you want to call them that, uh, and then that will be it, and uh, I'll be able to make a decision as to what I'll be doing. Um, beyond that. Uh, before I left, like I said, I, I started yesterday around um, 1.30 in the morning. I started, uh, I did my comments X, and now it's around 2, 2 a.m. So, that, and if you're familiar with the 24-hour clock, uh, 1 o'clock in the morning is simply one, is one hour into the day. Uh, 2 o'clock in the morning is two hours into the day, and that's how you can sort of gauge what the hour is on the at hour bit on the title. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, so I walked uh, walked around, strolled around the um, around the YouTube channels yesterday, and the first stop that I did was Nerds RL. And I noticed that uh, <laughs> that I think it's Andrew is now doing uh, doing some of the vlogging for Cassandra, uh, and he pointed out how he's been eating a lot of hu uh, he he eat sort of drifting drifted back and forth between Honey Nut Cheerios. He started off Honey Nut Cheerios as a kid, moved to uh, Corn Flakes, he flopped to Corn Flakes later on, and now is drifting back to uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. And uh, I don't get behind the brand one, the Honey Nut Cheers. I get uh, a no-name brand one that I found that was good, uh, and it's I think it's half the price of uh, of the the regular. And what I do is I buy the the big box, and rather than simply having it as a cereal, I have it uh, as a snack. It's one of the I have these massive jars. Uh, that uh, I should bring one over went, bring one over to show you tomorrow uh, these massive jars that I have uh, and I store uh, cereal in there and and a bunch of bunch of other stuff as well including candy and anything that's loose can be stored in these jars and I have the Honey Nut Cheerios the known name brand one uh, the way you would instead of having chips I have the cereal I like I I, don't know, I just for one time I just started munching on them as a snack, like a chips or, or a cracker, and I actually liked it better than the chips or crackers. So uh, I started buying that uh, as a chips and crackers rather. The cereals are now chips and crackers rather than having chips and crackers themselves. Uh, although I do buy one uh, type of cracker 
uh, that again, it's not an, a North American. It's an Asian. It's an Asian cracker that I like. They're these very hot rice crackers that have uh, chili in them, and I, I, I like I like a lot of heat. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I like these crackers because they're not the, they're not the bland rice crackers that that you you find in the, you know in the North American uh, uh, you know the, these these uh, the Dianals North American Dianals you find these uh, these rice chips or these rice crackers. And they're essentially like eating styrofoam. Uh, <laughs> for those of you who are younger, or or ever try eating a styrofoam cup just to sort of see what it tasted like, well, these rice cakes taste exactly the same. Go to an Asian supermarket, and you'll find that uh, their rice crackers are significantly more flavorful than. Uh, you would find it in North America, and you know that's that's primarily the difference between uh, Asian cooking and my my culture. Uh, le bleeds into the Asian culture. Uh, it, it, uh, we use an enormous amount of spice in our food. Uh, most people who aren't from these cultures don't like that type of food. Uh, it's not something they're used to. Uh, I have uh, on a regular basis. I make something. No, uh, from the Middle East, known as zatta, is basically uh, it's basically a spice pizza. Uh, take take a standard pizza, remove your tomato and cheese topping, and fill the topping with olive oil and spice, and that's your zatta. That's it's basically a Middle Eastern p spice pizza, and that's what I have. And I know uh, when I've talked to some of my Indian friends, they have the exact same bread. Uh, and they know what I'm talking about. It's basically um, you're making a nan type of bread and putting spice on top of it. And they have the same thing. It's, it's, it, it, the, the zata is uh, basically the Middle, East, Middle Eastern term uh, for a curry. It's a type of curry. Um, and I see that looks looks like they've moved into a new place and not actually in the same place that they were before. Because so I see the uh, fireplace, but uh, uh, I'm not too sure whether they've actually finalized the moving or or not. Uh, uh, I'll sort of uh, when I go back today and I'll check out and see if uh, it's the same as the other places were. You know, they mentioned that they've finally moved and found a place. Place. Um, he also mentioned that uh, he was about this poster from Kramer and even Steven. I don't remember that show. I, I I watched. I still I still do. I watch all the kid shows on Nickelodeon and uh, and Disney Channel, uh, and also on uh, Family Channel and uh, Teletoon, uh, YTV. Uh, I watch all those channels. Uh, these are my standard channels. Uh, I've sort of given up on. Uh, the more so-called more adult things that as as I go in through these these more adult things and find more and more what we'll call scientific errors that they you know that these shows that are supposed to be science fiction shows, uh, my choice is to uh, go back down to the kids shows and sort of say well, you know, it's for entertainment purposes. Uh, I don't need to be doing anything you know, uh, super smart about it, and uh, I sort of leave it at that. Uh, I've gone from, uh, and this is a sort of in, for in the reference to the nerds, uh, uh, nerd fighter uh, and the anime con type nerds. Uh, I've gone from uh, reading and ri reading reading anime and manga and watching the t the different uh, shows that came from came from, from Japan from uh, Japan. My speaking is off today. Wow, <laughs> I have bouts and periods of it throughout every common X. Uh, I used to get, and I still do occasionally get my uh, anime anime uh, from uh, Japan uh, with the subtitles in it. Uh, so it's the original Japanese version with the subtitles. Uh, but I've kind of lost my taste for... Uh, 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 for a lot of the anime out there, is sort of becoming stale and monotonous. And, and a lot of uh, anime and, and manga either go, uh, go in two directions. It's either a lot of fighting and gore, or 
you have the ones that the sort of that the girly ones that are more they're supposed to be more towards romance, but there's a lot of uh, it, with the, uh, I think it's a, uh, they're not written by girls. They're more of the henty, uh, um, the sort of the uh, anime porn type of things. And I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm, this just me. Maybe I'm, I'm maybe one of the few guys. I'm not into porn. It doesn't really interest me. Uh, so I've gone from. Because there's really not really anything that I like out there, I've gone from reading and watching anime to now I've started writing my own what they call dynamic novels, and these are basically characters I create and whole scenarios I create. I create these characters on the internet, and you go out and you role play. This is sort of the cosplay aspect of it. You role play on the internet as these characters, but you don't do it, you don't do it in a, a, a Sims or a uh, or any of that type of uh, uh, server restricted environments. When you go and do uh, these these role playing games, uh, these sort of these multi multi room dungeons and these you know these fantasy games that you go online from the from the Xbox, you're restricted to a specific server, and you're in a specific area. You really can't leave that area. You're stuck, you know, so if you're playing a war game, you're in a war game. If you're in, uh, you know, another program, you're in, a, in, in you're restricted to that. Uh, the way I've developed uh, the, uh, my dynamic novels, the RP that I do, and, and another friend has done the exact same thing, uh, it's you create a character, write out the bio of that character so you know who the character is, that you're playing, and then you create using hot, Hotmail, Gmail, whatever, whatever you want to use, create an email address, and then start using the internet itself to live as that character on the internet. And so you do whatever you want to do with that character. If you want to be like a Hannah Montana and you want to create that, make that, that fictional character a star, then you go out onto MySpace, you go onto YouTube, and you start creating music, you start creating uh, cartoons, you start sort of creating that, you, you live that sort of second life. And it's how far you get in that second life. Your points are the number of friends you have, uh, the number of people you talk to, um, the how far you've gotten out onto the internet. Uh, and I think it's how far you get. You, you can go anywhere you want, where you want to. Um, you could even take it upon yourself, and I've done this, uh, to move characters to pay and you find an address and you can start sort of uh, at, through Google and Google Streets, surfing the internet and getting to know the area uh, uh, where you want to move the character, and then slowly move the character into that uh, that local neighborhood. And you can surf from that perspective, uh, particularly if you understand uh, proxies and stuff like that. And you can find, uh, uh, and there are ways of doing it, of finding proxies that you can go through. Uh, you'll be able to sort of. Uh, surf the internet uh, uh, through that particular point uh, uh, locally and geographically. Uh, and that's sort of the way I play my my games, the way I do my uh, anime and manga er, is all through that. Uh, I take some of the already drawn characters. I'm learning to draw manga and anime now. Uh, I've got it set up on my computer to do that. Uh, this part of my uh, uh, my graphic arts training that I'm doing now. Uh, so, uh, I am learning that, so it's good, but I use uh, standard characters from the various different anime uh, to be the various characters that I choose to create and live as. And so in reality, you build the story around that. So, then the other place I went to, uh, ended up going to, I went to uh, Jen Penn's uh, site again. I do check sites on a regular basis. I checked, you know, I went by uh, Right and Proper Ladies. I went by Helicopters. I went by Zoe's site. I saw Zoe's, uh, 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 yeah, Zoe's uh, Tuesday contribution to the Right and Proper Ladies. And their uh, new theme, uh, from what I understand now, is uh, uh, existentialism in, in Bohemian Rhapsody. 
So uh, I will be working on a, uh, my contributions for Saturday and Sunday, uh, and I will post them uh, appropriately. And then I went by another one, uh, a new one that added some new people to my uh, YouTube, my YouTube channel selector, and the one that I added was uh, Love Laugh Tiffany, and she was uh, asked the question, uh, uh, how will you be remembered? And one of the funny things that pops into my mind is the question is, how do you want to be remembered? And you, if you look at these, the, the, the apparently the Grammys were this week. Uh, I never remember when these award shows are, but you always see these people go, going up there, and you know, and and, and 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 the comments are everybody is so talented, everyone's so lovely. And the question is, do you want to be remembered positively, you know, in terms of you know, do you want empty platitudes, or do you want to piss people off and uh, and sort of gain a bit of notoriety, and you know, <laughs> it's, it's, when people are pissed off at you, they're telling you what they really think. I mean, the only time that people are really, really honest with you in many cases uh, is when is when they're pissed off at you, and then they're they're not holding back. There's nothing that's being censored, and they're just sort of coming out with it. Otherwise, uh, when someone's hanging around you, uh, and you and everyone's sort of oh oh, oh you're so great, you're so great, uh, what you end up with is a lot of what is called bullshit. So. If you're the type of person who wants to be remembered in in in, in, in terms of it have heaps of bullshit play, uh, ho hoisted upon you, then then famous is the way you want to go. Uh, if you want people to be open and honest, uh, even if they're angry, then infamous is the way you want to go. So that sort of came into my mind when I was sort of doing that. Um, other than that. Uh, is basically nurse, nursing my wounds, you not really the wounds, but the, uh, by around uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, my muscles started really stiffening up, and it was just, I was basically lying in bed all day doing different reading and, you know, uh, some of my research work. And that's what it's going to basically be again today. It's going to be more research. It's going to be, uh, I'm, I'm working on, I've already put out, I realized that uh, one, the, yesterday's comment sex uh, covered enough area that it would essentially cover, it, it would essentially be sufficient for a, an example of library science. And because my university is uh, all library science based, there are no classes, it's basically building a library and then, then getting your studies from there. Uh, so I started posting the comments X to the university site. I've got to fix up my university uh, YouTube channel better. That's what I'll be doing today, working on the on the university channel, and I'll be posting more uh, uh, videos uh, to that site. And I'll put a link to. I've begun doing this, putting a link to the different shoutouts and the different uh, channels that I mentioned down below. So if you look at the at the comments, you go into the comments, you'll see the links to my the people that I've talked about and the people I've sort you know given a shout out to. All right, uh, I'll see you as the day progresses and later. <laughs>